Xilinx takes corporate philanthropy very seriously. It's, it's beyond the philanthropy, it's about a total holistic engagement of our employees, our mentorship opportunities, um, our financial giving, our in-kind. It's, it's an entire uh, ecosystem, um, so to speak. We want to make sure that every level of the people that we support, both internally and externally, is addressed. And we want to make sure all the touch points and the components are sustainable and long-lasting. Xilinx's strategic giving program, uh, the anchor program, is called the Educational Ecosystem. It's an integrated and articulated grant model where we partner with nonprofits, the schools that we support, and Xilinx as a corporation, lending leadership, guidance, uh, strategic planning, brainstorming, a totally interactive and connected program where all parties at the table come together for the good of the students and how to build that pipeline for the future for both whether it be career or technical skills and or any other element that benefits the students and the community within the Xilinx campus and surrounding area. Xilinx has a very welcoming and involved staff. There are many different approaches to engagement. Um, oftentimes, it's just the goodwill of the employee. It's, we found things that they love to do, so they're passionate about giving back. We've also partnered with our HR department on a couple of different programs, which actually tie back to their focal and their learning and their development programs. So that's always an incentive. And then. We're very fortunate with our entry-level professionals. They come from a culture of giving from their universities, from their communities, and they're eager and anxious to share not only their, their knowledge and the skill bases that they have, so whether somebody in the finance department might be teaching junior achievement or in the HR department, but our engineers do programs that work with the STEAM programs that we support. So every element we try to find activities and programs that not only come from their heart, but also come from their intellectual capital and their love of giving. And it really hasn't been a challenge. We have a very enriched um, community and they want to give. They're always coming to us with new ideas, sometimes more than we can handle. My feedback to corporations engaging in philanthropy, that it's more than the dollars. And we like to use a phrase at Xilinx, both corporately and around the world, that we don't become drive-by donors. It's not just about the money, but it's a total engagement on multiple levels and multiple facets. So sometimes the money doesn't spread as much as you would like. Um, sometimes the ticket price is more um, challenging than we can, can foster, but, some, but then there's other ways. It could be that there's an in-kind drive or there's um, the opportunity to strategize with them or look for other partners to come to the table. So it's not just the philanthropy, it's about corporate social responsibility on a variety of levels and intersecting components to solve the problem. It, you just have to look at your environment and your community and decide what works best for them. Some people have the ability to, to cut a check. Others have more time and talent. I think we need to look at all of our opportunities, all of our tools in our toolbox, and how do we make those work together to be successful as partners in the community. Well, for Xilinx right now, we're calling it, this is the year of shaking it up. And the reason is, is that we've been a, a program that has grown over the last 10 years. And whether it be our community or our employee population or technology, it's changed. So it's time for us to look at new tools, services, opportunities, programs that now have more merit and more meaning for what's happening in today's society. Whether it be a challenge with literacy, uh, college fees and, and opportunities to get advanced education, whether it be homelessness or you know, um, veterans. We, well, the, the scenario today is not the scenario it was 10 years ago. So we're always looking for new and innovative ways and opportunities to address the concerns that are happening right now. So by shaking it up, we're refocusing, we're looking at uh, more flexible ways to give, whether it be online with uh, your, your phone and mobile apps. Are we looking at new tools and services on our intranet, on our extranet? Are we, do we have the right partners to engage with to make sure we have sustainable support and a longer term impact? Um, and of course, when there's a situation of a disaster or things that we can't foresee, we have to be nimble and flexible to understand how to address those immediate concerns and help for the future. So we're building a, a model of, of change and innovation, but with a solid platform so that we can be dynamic and react quickly to any situation where we can help out. So um, I'd like to thank you for inviting me to participate in this meeting today, even though it's virtually. But more importantly, I want to really thank CFI and Helen and, the, and the, the level of partnership that you've offered us over the last few years. You've been 
innovative and creative and helped us help a lot of people in the local community and internationally. And I couldn't go without saying a huge thank you to Hel Helena and Pat from Xilinx in Ireland in our Dublin office. They are the arms and the legs and the eyes and the ears of our local community. They understand the culture, the nuances, and the importance of where to give. I want to thank you all from the bottom of our heart, from our corporate offices, and from our locations around the world. Thank you for doing the work that you do to help so many others.